the things that people are always worried about is how to starch silk. Do you starch silk? Do you wash silk? Uh, obviously, I wash the mass grave in silks. I know how it reacts to water. Um, I want to have a product that I can stand behind when I sell it. But the question remains, after you've washed it and you've sewn it together, can you starch it? Or if you do starch it, what starch do you use? So I have three samples of my Tuscan uh, Sunset Silk Habitat and three different starches, which are relatively easy to find. This one is found at pretty much any grocery store. It's faultless heavy starch. Uh, this one is Mary Ellen's Best Press, which you can get at Joann's for about 10 bucks. And this is Linen Press Fine Specialty Starch from Amazon. I think it cost me about $20. And I'm going to test each of these and see if which one, if any of them work well, do any of them cause any color bleeds, what kind of problems might you encounter with them. So uh, let's see, we'll start with the faultless and well, let's just see what happens. We'll apply a fairly heavy coat of starch and we're going to iron it out. First they have Mary Ellen starch, which comes out really thick. And then the linen press, which also comes out kind of thick. Although that one, I don't know, I think, I think Mary Ellen's and linen, the linen press also give you an option to change the stream so it's not as heavy. Okay, so they've all been starched. I think the one from Faultless, you kind of can't really tell it, but it actually has a little bit of the starch coming up. It's not, and you can see it's been starched because you can see the starch sitting on top of the fabric. The Mary Ellen's is not as heavy, and there's a light color bleed on the, move the bottle so you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there is actually a light color bleed from the fabric, and this is fabric I've already washed. Um, but it's slightly pink underneath, so that concerns me because there shouldn't be any color bleed from starch. And the linen press is a nice crisp, actually. I like it. And there's no color bleed underneath it. So sometimes you really do get what you pay for, I guess, because honestly the two best are the most expensive and the least expensive. I mean, you can see the starch marks on this one slightly. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But you can definitely see some light ridging here, which is just starch. It's something you could rinse it right out and it would be no problem. It actually creates a crisper starch, the, the cheap stuff from the store, than the linen press. But again, the linen press, you can't see any starch on it. So the only way you know it's starch is because you put the starch on there. Um, Mary Ellen's not as crisp on a starch, and you can actually see blotch marks where the starch hits, so if you don't get a very universal starch, it's going to be kind of obvious. I like the linen press and the uh, faultless, even though I think the faultless says don't use on silk. We all know that I tend to scoff at that, given that I rub cat pee and grease and marinara sauce on silk, and so... Don't forget sticky substances like tar. <laughs> and other things on silk. <laughs> The other question was taffeta. People always say, don't wash taffeta, don't wash taffeta. Oh my god, you'll, you'll wash the starch out of taffeta. Well, this is Damask Raven Taffeta. This is the design that I had of uh, Reproduction Spittlefields. It's screen printed on, not brocaded. Um, this is a chunk. I cut off of this and I ran this part through the washing machine, which you can tell by the fraying despite the pinking. But the hand didn't change. It's still the same. It still has screw. You can still hear it. I didn't have them add anything at the factory level for starch. Um, and I think that's what happens with most of it is, is when you buy silk taffeta from most vendors, they have had the manufacturers add starch at a factory level. Since I didn't, nothing changed when I washed it. But just to double check, a nice thick coating of the linen press on here and we'll iron it out. that dry actually. I'm just to test it. I'm going to see what it looks like when we do the unwashed versus the washed. Ideally for the record you should use a pressing cloth. I'm not bothering so I should be able to see what I'm doing. 
Yeah, there's no difference. Well, it's stiffer. You can definitely hear the screw. But the nice thing is, since I didn't add anything at the factory and I did run this to the washing machine, if I get water on this, I will have absolutely no problem dunking the whole thing in water and starching it again. That's the nice thing about not being afraid to wash your silk, is that if something happens to it, you can wash it and start over again. Uh, well, re-iron it. Thank you. <laughs>